Thank you, Mr. Chair, for holding this hearing today. Uh, Chair Khan, thank you so much for coming uh, before us today and answering our questions. Uh, obviously, the FTC serves a very important role in making sure that competitive practices can continue to exist in this country in the marketplace while still protecting consumers. Um, but I'm going to focus today on um, just some of my concerns surrounding what I perceive to be maybe um, going a little bit far outside of your jurisdiction on some of the rules and the, and the process that, um, when it comes to regulations, is driving up the cost of doing business in this country. And um, when we talked yesterday, we talked about big business and small business and making sure we can protect our small businesses. And um, so one rule that I'm concerned about um, and um, is moving forward is the commission's uh, proposed motor vehicle uh, dealers trade regulation rule. Um, obviously, the rule's intent is to help consumers, but um, many of the new paperwork provisions um, associated with the rule really haven't been tested. And from my count, there's at least four um, new disclosures that uh, car buyers will have to both read and sign. And, um, you know, I've bought a vehicle myself. I know how complicated it can be. And we're adding a layer of complication here. So I just want to know why. Why are you uh, enacting this new rule that really puts that onus on the consumer? Thanks, Congresswoman. And I really enjoyed our conversation yesterday about the importance of small business. So the FTC's work in this area and the proposed rule really follows years and years of enforcement activity. Uh, we all know that buying a car is one of the most significant and expensive purchases that an American makes. And unfortunately, we've seen certain practices persist. Uh, this can include certain bait and switch practices so that companies will maybe be representing one set of commitments, but then ultimately switching what consumers are ultimately on the hook for. But aren't those things already illegal? I mean, where do you not feel that you don't already have the enforcement, that the enforcement capability doesn't already exist? I mean, when you look at the amount of time and effort that this is going to take on the consumer side, I just see this as an incredible burden, not only to our dealers who are now going to have to de dedicate more additional staff time there, but to the consumer. I've been in and bought a car, right? I understand how, how many papers you already have to sign, and now we're putting that onus on the consumer. Do you not feel that you already have that enforcement capability, that things are already illegal that you're describing? So it's true that under Section 5 of the FTC Act, we are able to reach some of those practices. I think in practice, what we've seen is that this case-by-case -case approach is not effectively deterring these illegal business practices. And so codifying the illegality of these practices through a rule, we think will both provide businesses much clearer notice about what's unlawful, uh, make it crystal clear, and then also uh, give us more remedial authority so that if companies violate these rules and, and engage in these illegal practices, we can actually get money back to consumers. Well, with and all so due that's respect, I believe that's Congress's job to decide what needs to be in code here. Not, uh, this shouldn't be happening through the rulemaking process. And um, another question I have in this regard, what is the cost uh, to consumers? Have you actually accounted for that cost of additional time with this mandated rule and the paperwork here? So our proposed rule lays out some preliminary analysis, but it's just a proposed rule. Uh, we put out the proposal for comment. We received somewhere between 10 to 11,000 comments, uh, including commenting on, on some of these issues. And so our staff is currently looking closely at some of the input and will determine how to move forward. Um, I will say the rulemaking here is pursuant to the authority Congress gave us in Dodd-Frank, uh, where they authorized us to, to issue a rule uh, addressing practices by auto dealers. Have you done any qualitative research in this, in this case? Uh, our economists have been doing quantitative research, which is in the rule. Um, I believe some of the input we're getting is more on the qualitative side. Yeah, I would say it's prudent to consumer test um, when you look at uh, the paperwork requirements before you propose them to see if they're working as intended. So I would ask you to seriously consider that before any uh, further movement on this rule. And um, since we don't know if they will actually work and they haven't been tested in practical application, um, if you wind up confusing customers and this doesn't work going forward, what action are you prepared to take at the FTC to reverse course on this if it is a damaging rule. Yeah, look, we all share the goal of making sure that this is improving the process for consumers, not adding any type of confusion. And so if ultimately we ended up getting data or input or research that suggested it wasn't working as intended, uh, of course, we would revisit that. Well, I would uh, like to submit, Mr. Chair, for the record, a letter that um, I, along with many other members, bipartisan members, uh, wrote to the chair um, and the FTC to um, to ask her to uh, back off this rule. And I, I believe it is going to be damaging to consumers in the long run and uh, really will hurt our small businesses, right? Many of our auto dealers are small businesses. Um, from my district, I have many who employ dozens and dozens of people, from techs to um, sales uh, people. So they're supporting a lot of families, and this will um, create a, a more challenging process on the consumer side. So without objection, Mr. Chair, I'd ask that this be submitted for the record. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I yield back. Ms. Torres. 
Hello. Um, good afternoon, Chair Khan. It's really good to see you. And thank you for responding to 